At 545, we are tracking some breaking news due to the weather. Let's get right out to Mark Griffin in the storm mode, Silverado, because Mark, you have made your way to Bristlecone and near Greenmount Road in O'Fallon, where we see some flooding out there. Yeah, I actually have jumped out of the Silverado at this point to give you just a little bit better view as this street is closed and I could not make my way down here. O'Fallon Street Department closed the street just a little while ago. And I'm going to show you why all of this water on the street covering up the cars right here, at least two cars there you can see are submerged in the water. Not sure if that person was driving through or if their car ended up floating there. I'm going to widen out just a little bit again so you can see those O'Fallon street crews working in the area. That mailbox there, obviously, a lot of water around that one as well. I'm going to pull back out here and show you how this comes all the way down the street, right past me, all the way to the intersection. I tell you what, there's a lot of water out here, and the discouraging part is, as I take you back, you look up at that street light, the rain continues to fall down here. The one positive I can tell you is from where I am right now, it does not look like any of this water has encroached into the houses. Mm -hmm. So while the people who are driving, who own these cars will face a lot of issues this morning, at least right now, it does not look like it's getting into the houses. Back to you guys. Very scary situation there for that driver. Mark reporting live in O'Fallon, Illinois. Okay. Mo, back to you. Okay, we'll check back, folks. Thanks.